The Rivian electric truck just undergone some design changes. So they they grown up so fast, uh, and uh, we'll we'll look at some pictures that are coming out of literally from the edge of the earth where they're testing their trucks. Uh, though it is kind of appropriate for their brand, right? They're creating an adventure vehicle, so this is a very adventurous location. I'll show it to you on the map. I had no idea where it was, uh, honestly, myself. Um, so and 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 we're gonna. This is the first time uh, we we've, we've seen some design changes. They're not really big, uh, but there are quite a few of them. So we're gonna look at the pictures of the original uh, prototype concept car, whatever you want to call it. That we've seen around the world. I've seen personally a couple of times as well. Uh, I was at the original availing, so that helped as well. But um, also we're going to look at these spy pictures that are coming out uh, to us and 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 look some look 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 at some little changes here and there and see if we like them and if the change that a lot of people are asking for um, actually made it into this uh, refresh. All right, I can't wait. Before after pictures coming up next. Take it Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so first of all, the location, right? I told you it's at the edge of the universe, and it is. It's in Argentina, one of the uh, most southern points, and uh, I guess this is a very rough terrain, and, and, and people go there for all of these kinds of uh, adventures and hikes and uh, overlanding and so this is this is the right place for them to be um, and uh, they are uh, you know showcasing uh, I'm not really sure if they meant to be caught on camera uh, because it's a pretty remote location uh, but they have by uh, quite a cu couple of sources at least uh, one is uh, one of the users of the Rivian uh, a forum and another one is Argentinian auto blog website and you'll see quite a few pictures from them now, the good news is that there are not that many changes, uh, uh, major changes to the design, uh, which is good. And I can't say that for, you know, every manufacturer out there. I'm looking at you, Porsche. That's right. With a Taycan unveiling coming up, that's going to look nothing like this awesome car. But I digress. Um, now, the, uh, the, the spy pictures um, are pretty clear like it doesn't look like they had to be taken from like somewhere from the corner and across the street um looks like Rivian's been kind of doing it out in the open which is good for them I don't think they have anything to hide a lot of times um they've taken pictures of them taking out their cars and that's how we get a lot of them now as you can see the mountains with the snow it's pretty cold out there I guess that the temperature is kind of a you know, uh, bordering on freezing, which, and, you know, this is not the freezing temperature test that they should be doing once, you know, the battery and everything is ready to go. But obviously they wanted to make sure that the weather is not the nicest California weather uh, to be testing it. So that's great. Um, now, as you guys remember that uh, Rivian has been invested by Ford and there's a lot of, uh, I wouldn't even say rumors, assumptions that uh, the Ford truck is uh, going to be kind of a based on this Rivian uh, truck as well. But today Ford also said that, hey, we actually uh, moving forward with our version of our truck and last time when I did the video about this a little PR stunt that they did they 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 reached out to me and said oh just want to make sure that you know this truck is just fully ours not Rivian and we're not you know we're kind of keeping them separated but the big news today from coming from Ford is that they are saying that uh, they're going to have this electric truck, the F-150, uh, before 2022. So now we have a deadline. Now we have a, uh, a milestone uh, to look forward to. So that's good news. Now back to the spy uh, pictures. Now this is one of the, I guess this guy is actually a reservation owner that just happened to be there. So there's uh, two trucks, as you can see, one is white, one is uh, kind of a bluish silver. So there's another one, they're all dirty from being tested, which is as they should be. Um, here's another one where they're charging. Um, this is the inside. Now, we're not going to talk much about the inside because I guess Rivian reached out, I think, to Electric when Electric started analyzing, you know, the 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 insides. Um, the Rivian reached out to them and said, hey, listen, this is really not what it's going to look like. We're, this is really not uh not not really to be reported on which so i'm not going to do much there so the steering wheel is not going to look uh, that way because this is a bit of a departure from what they were um 
showcasing at uh, at the premiere and at the auto shows and so forth. Uh, the Rivian works in a funny way. Their marketing department is kind of almost like Tesla's, right? They don't reach out to you before, but they'll reach out to you after. I've already been reached out to them uh, once when I featured one of their videos. Uh, they said, well, it wasn't really ours and asked us to take it down and all that stuff. Um, they're not very proactive, but whatever. Um, so let's not worry about the... Uh, uh, the inside, but here's another one from um, Autoblog. As a matter of fact, they've had quite a few. This is the still in the box. Um, this is the night picture, obviously, after a long day of uh, obvious, uh, obvious work. Um, so, all right, now let's look. Uh, you've seen these pictures now. Uh, let's see the differences between the design before and after. Uh, but before that, Let's uh, let uh, me quickly remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte and check out their all electric SUV called M Byte coming to the US and Europe in the next year or so. Go to the description of this video to reserve yours, and it really is probably going to take you about, I don't know, 60 seconds at most because there is no payment form uh, because uh, making a reservation is free. Uh, so join myself and over 50,000, maybe more other people, and get your Byte and reservation now. Okay. So let's talk about uh, a few differences. Now, first one that people notice almost right away is that originally the charging port was on its right, as you can see in this in this promotional picture. And uh, now, as you can see from the spy picture, it is, uh, did I say on the, yeah, I said on the right. So now it's on the left. Um, so this split screen, as you can see, uh, this is there on the left, it's their uh, original concept. And uh, on the right is what was spied on uh, this week, within the last week or so. Um, it makes it makes sense to me. A lot of times, uh, you know, you come out of the car in the garage and going all around the car and plugging in. You know, especially in a garage where you have, you know, lawnmowers and other stuff that you know tripping over. Um, so having it on the same side is better. Like I got to tell you, um, let's uh, with with uh, with my Tesla, I also enjoyed it being on the same side. With my Volt, I enjoy be, being on the side. But but whenever I do have to rarely uh, gas my Volt, going all around to the you know where the gas goes in, uh, that's a bit of a hassle. And doing it in, in the garage, it's even less of a hassle. So good for them to to change that. Uh, but design wise, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, now another thing is um, the badge, and uh, people notice it almost right away. There was none. This is zoomed out, but here's the one on the white one. People are really digging it. Like they're really like loving the the badge. We've seen it before. Uh, the logo, this this design of the design of the badge, not the actual badge. I'm a really big fan. It looks like the the R is talking the you know the one uh, out of jumping off of the cliff. I, I don't know. I I, I mean, but whatever. Uh, this is all cosmetics. I don't really care. Uh, they have a badge. Awesome. Love it. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, the little uh, window that is uh, in the uh, back door uh, is gone. So on the left is their press photo, and on the right one, as you can see, just one solid window. And a lot of people really liked it. I personally think that the the left, like the original one, is a little bit kind of, I guess, more sophisticated. Um, but I'm okay either way. I'm I'm sure it's cheaper to make it as one piece. So. Whatever keeps the cost down, I'm all there. <laughs> Next one is the reflector. So as you can see, uh, they've added this orange reflector on a relatively awkward part. I don't think, like, I don't really notice reflectors myself but uh, on cars, but this is kind of an odd play, a place to put a reflector in. Um, I, I think it breaks so many different lines of the design. Uh, I hope it's temporary. I would rather have them put them maybe um, under that where that white part ends or just just... A little awkward. Let me know in the comment section if you guys uh, agree. Now, door handles. This is another thing that I'm not I'm that crazy about. Because originally, they had them pretty smooth, kind of a one contour. Uh, but now they have one, you know, inside of another one almost. And it's and it, to me, it looks a little weird. Um, now, I have to say that I'm not a big fan of this, you know, Model 3 type of a door handle where you push it in and then another part comes out and you drag it out of that. Um, I know Byton has it as well. And, um, you know, people say, oh, you never criticize Byton. You know, I don't like these door handles, even on a Byton. Um, so, but now that they've added an extra layer, I don't even know what it's all about. The previous ones are much smoother and I like them much better. All right. Now, a lot of people also notice that the back side is a little different. And they're saying, well, it's a little flatter, it's not as round, uh, but at the same time, it's more production ready. Um, and uh, this is mainly for aerodynamics, uh, but I'm not really sure. I mean, 
Yes, I, I, I see quite a few things uh, that kind of flattened out. But if you look at the uh, so kind of a side view right here, uh, I mean, to me, it, there's no, it's not a perfect view on the right, but 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 still looks looks pretty similar. Very much as far as the shame is concerned, it's pretty similar. So um, I'm okay with that. Um, also, no, people notice that now there's you can see there is a. Uh, uh, there is sort of a cover maybe uh, there that goes uh, right in the middle of the bottom uh, where maybe where the toe hitch is going to be coming out of, uh, which has kind of been expected. Um, people have also noticed that um, they have uh, now two uh, front, um, what do you call them, um, the, the hooks to pull the stuff, and I'm completely lost for words. I'm sure you guys will put in the comment section the um, uh, you know, on the left. And this is a really grainy picture. I'm sorry. This is the best I could Photoshop. But you can see that. And on the right, you know, there was just plastic. People kind of expected that it was going to be, but now we're actually seeing them. Here's from a different angle. You obviously can see the um, uh, the hook that would come out. Uh, and obviously, vehicle like that. This is this is this is kind of a must. So this is uh, you know this is this is these are pretty much all the changes. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like them. Um, I think they are pretty like this it looks like uh, they're keeping up with their original concept but at the same time they're making changes that probably will just lower the cost um, or just some things that maybe are better for aerodynamics or with regulations and some uh, maybe architecture and engineering that they figured out needs to be a little bit more complicated and maybe less pleasant looking but nevertheless um, so uh, what do you guys think? Uh, definitely let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, while you're there, don't forget to su subscribe to our VIP list uh, where we deliver a bonus story every Saturday to you. It's absolutely free. Go to eforlectric.com slash VIP. That link is also in the description of this video. All right. Let me know what you think. I think these are pretty fine changes. Uh, some of them are stepped back in some ways, but I'm hoping they're going to sort of uh, have them, maybe some of them back in their final design. So other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.